Ah, salu everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, A Heart of Darkness, the Late Phones Campaign, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, we're back here in our Late Phones Campaign, and what, if you guys are wondering what happened to my, like, abrupt ending last time, that was not me or my intention. What happened was, is that the game crashed on me, and so, yeah, it had to end that way. And so I decided to go back to the nearest save, which was actually only about four days ahead, which was kind of weird in my opinion, so... Yeah, we'll just continue from this, like, day, and, yeah, as we were talking about last time, we want to, uh, we want to make sure that in the last days, we go out in a blaze of glory, freeing as many nations as we can, and hopefully somebody will actually join in on this crisis, and, and apparently there's some more Bulgarian help, what do you guys need? Against the state of Morocco, the Don't... Okay, these names don't really sound that powerful. Yeah, okay. For the final helping of the Polish people. So this is the final. Yes, okay, so we have the final helping of the Polish people. And I really don't have to do anything in this war, to be honest with you. The Polish will just basically take over Austria, and I just have to sit back and watch. Because the Austrians are like everyone's... Um... Dang, I can't say the word, but you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. They're basically that. And I I don't really have to do anything. I just have to keep my border guarded and just casually watch as, Aus as Poland beats the snot out of Austria. And you see, even the, the the greatest Austrian armies are just no no match from, for the Polish people. The last conquest of Pol Poland. And Poland will then officially be able to get some actual high RGO output because then they get... Two really good um, oil provinces, which are above all great, and they get, I think after this point, now they'll be able to like go on to Super Poland, which Super Poland is basically all this. Okay, Romania, which is what? What is Romania? Because now we have a crisis. Oh shoot, I can't join this crisis! Oh, this is Bulgaria and... Um, the Ottomans. Maybe somebody else will be interested. I'm not... Okay, so... Trouble is brewing. Let's see the sides. Oh, wait, no. No one wanted to join sides. So, apparently everyone's being really shy at the end of the years. With no real... Anyone wanting to really form a great war. Yeah, I see no... It's kind of sad, but... You know, I wish a nation would actually do this. So, like I said... Oh come on! How did I rack up ten? How did I rack up infamy for that? That wasn't even fair. And apparently, during war, I lose a lot more infamy. That's weird. Okay, and let's see the rebels. How are they doing? Well, since I basically enacted every single kind of reform, and uh, you really—I mean, there's really nothing you guys have really to say against my government because I've done everything. Okay, apparently there's a battle in the colonies. Let's go check it out. Okay. Whatevs, you guys can take that province. They're not that important to me. Um, let me see. Is there any other colonies I have to worry about, though? Yeah, you guys aren't going to do anything. Okay. And it's time for the final, like, pushing out of the Austrian army, I guess. I mean, the Austrians. Oh, and then... <laughs> oh, the Swedish are able to kick out the Austrians. This is too much. This is just too much. Okay, you guys are about ready to submit defeat. Not quite yet, but in a couple days they will be because, um, yeah, I took over, I took over that battle, and the Swedish are taking over Vienna. Oh my goodness, well that usually never happens, I can guarantee that, that usually never happens in any of my games. And, wow, it's, it's kind of a relief, and how are my people doing about improving the rest of my infrastructure? Because this is the final push to, like, level 6 infrastructure. Let me see. Well, apparently I can't build anything. Oh, I'm still. Oh, I'm still building. That's why I was like, why can't I build the most advanced infrastructure in the world? And apparently the Germans already have the most advanced infrastructure in the world. That's not unfair at all. Like, how did they get the most advanced infrastructure in the world? And oh my goodness, Russia. Okay. Wow. The, the Russians just. Any. I think. 
this is the first time I've ever seen Buster just this defeated and this just like downed and are you about ready to defeat the I mean defeat what'd you guys add? Acquire Moldavia. I believe this be respected. Um let's see. What is Moldavia? Is this Moldavia that's Slovakia? That's Moldavia. No. Poland, you will not get that. Austria, I'm gonna make peace with you guys. Eastern Garcia. I'll accept this. But Poland, you guys. No. There we go. See, I'm not I'm not a mean guy. I just help my allies a lot more. And so now Poland has officially done what it's supposed to do and it has and unite all the lands I wanted to unite. So, now this is good, and I'm almost done with... Actually, wait a minute. I swear that we were done with our... Oh, no, no, wait a minute. We went back in time. Shoot. And everyone's probably wondering, wait, what, what are you talking about, James? No, because I remember we finished this. We finished limited access roads last time. So... We actually are back in time, not in forward in time. So, ah, uh, that makes sense why Bulgaria didn't do anything. And then Romania, ah, okay. Now this all makes sense, now this all makes sense. It, it's it's all clicking in my mind, so. It's not time to just watch as, yeah, because we're also, we don't even have all of our ships built. We're not even at 790 yet. Which is what we get to later. Spoilers. Okay. And we're going to move this army over here. And we still don't actually have our cap on yet. But as much army we can build. I mean, we can build so much. Okay. I think these are all the tanks in my division. So this will completely finish off the tanks. And we are still... Apparently there's some kind of Swedish war going on right now. Annexation of Wuttenberg. I'm, I'm sorry, Sweden, but you're not going to be able to stand against that. And the Germans have definitely moved into a much more aggressive stance at the end of this year. Um, I'm wondering if if their aggression is actually going to take them as far as to try to challenge me to a war. And if they do try to take over, if they do try to take over Switzerland, I'm into I'm intervening at that point. Intervening. And no, we're done. Okay, this is what happened last time. We got this influence point with Romania, and I said no. Nope. Okay. So yeah, we all really live in the past. So what else do we need to do? Let's make uh, more ships and move. Not here, right here. Make some dreadnoughts. Yeah, okay. So I'm so sorry, people. I thought we were... I thought this saved her actually, like, somehow fast forward in time. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. Because we were, like, at December 26th when this crashed last time. Hopefully that won't happen again. So, yeah, that makes... So does that mean we did this already? No, we aren't making these fort levels, or these, we are doing that one. So maybe we did do some of it, but we didn't do all of it, so. Okay, so now we're building up our, let's see, are we still building? Yeah, we still got a lot of ships in there, so we're still, at the end of the year, we'll probably have enough ships. And we are so close to what we're taking. And the Principality of Somalia land, let's see, how big are their rebels? Uh, not anywhere big, the Somalis people could handle them. By the way, the Somali, can we have a military access? Because I mean, we've been friends for... No. Why you guys are still jerks? Go on, I'll increase my relationships with you guys by one. Be, by one, but I'm not going to increase them by that much. And, okay, I'll give you... Us, Germany, I'll give you guys this. If you guys will take only that, you guys may have Wuttenberg. So I can't really stop you because there's no way I could stop you. But that's... Uh, this is This is what Super Germany is, everyone. Super Germans have been formed, sadly. Somehow I could not prevent it. Even though I did invest a lot into it. Okay, and most of my factories are doing fine. We don't really, we don't really have to worry because the capitalists are going to do whatever. And Jeremy, yep, Jeremy is now doing that. And I'm wondering, I'm seriously wondering if they're actually going to try to challenge me to a war. Because I would love to see that happen. And just love to see them fight as many allies as I have. Now Germany is really trying to topple me, and I am so mad at China right now. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. China is just like staying just barely out of my reach. Uh, 
Okay, and this is the final tank. Okay. Yeah, this should be the final tank. And wow, we have a good line going. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we have a much... I think now we have a much more strong line than the Germans. I mean, the Germans have... Look at the fun right now between me and Germany. It's just immense. Like, look at this. We have just this entire row. And honestly, if we went to war right now, this would be a good battle. It would be the biggest... Probably the best battle that's ever been fought in the world. I mean, I think I'd win in the end because the only alliance is with Sweden. And Sweden's not that great. The Ottomans might pose a little bit of a challenge, but as long as the Italians can go in and go take them out, we'll be fine. I'll be able to also do some things over here in my own colonies. And I'm much stronger than the Ottomans, so this should not be much of a problem. But, okay, yes, our athletes are victorious. Woohoo! Still number one in everything else but militaristic power, which I'm trying to beef up my borders or beef up my tactics right now. And how should we do that? Maybe what we should do is just cancel all this. It seems like my African troops are not being made, so I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to make all my troops back in um, France because France seems to be much more on top of it. And I'll destroy some of these guys. Make another army, 14. I'll make this even bigger than my other armies. 14, I'll make this 8. 8 troops. 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And one, 2 architects. And a couple horsemen. There we go. This is going to be our biggest army yet. And we've got our... Uh, new people right over there. Louis Donsny. I guess our best commander ever. And I'm building more troops over there. Yeah, it seems like our troop cost is starting to catch up with us. That's okay with me though, because we still we still have a very powerful economy. Like we have the best minimum we have probably the best statistics ever. I mean I'm supporting social spending which is something um that costs us a lot of money and honestly hmm you know, the only way the Germans are ever going to advance in this, in this world is that they're going to have to fight me. Because if they want to go towards Poland, I'm going to fight with the Polish. If they want to go towards the, uh, they go towards this region, yeah, I'm definitely going to fight them for this. The only problem is, is that they do have the Netherlands, which I'm thinking if we were to go to war, the Netherlands would probably join the, uh, Germans. So that means it would probably be a... Yeah, this is like... Major lag. Hmm. I don't know why my games... I'm starting... My memory files are starting to crack down now. Now that we're at the end of the game, it's starting to, like, revolt against me. But, ah. So very close. I bet you anything. If they're at 2,000, I'm going to be so mad. No, they are less than that. And we're so close. Like, we are so... Oh, finally! And Spain! The, the Jacobson's Rebels took over again. So now, Spain has, I guess, come full circle. They were communists. Well, they were conservatives. They became a communist. And now they're back to conservatism. Because the government just is really erratic. And they apparently can't do anything. And everyone, we have officially finished up with all of the requirements for industry. And now we're going to slowly move over to uh, naval base, which we might as well get these technologies right here. And, by the way, I didn't notice this, but my literacy is about 91.8%. That's pretty dang good, because I guarantee not many other world-class nations can read that well or have that high prestige in terms of literacy. And, wow, this is just... I don't know why, this is just such a peaceful time, except for Poland. Poland can handle it. Yeah, Poland... Poland, I think, now is independent enough that they can handle anything that is thrown at them. Germany. Oh, man. Germans. Just the Germans, everyone. Just the Germans. So, we got our armies being made. I'm just going to chill. Mm. In fact, you know what I'll do? Let's show the map modes again. So, infrastructure. So, you guys can all see. Cotton industry. The only places that just don't have really good infrastructure are Mexico and Russia. Okay. 
Diplomatically, I don't think you guys, that's our important map mode. Region wise, this is always a cool, this is always a cool map mode in my opinion, because you get to see all the regions. And Africa, awesome. Revolt Risk, I don't think I have any, well I have a little bit of Revolt Risk, a lot of Revolt Risk in Ethiopia. Ethiopians are very, very anti-me, but then again, I wasn't really pro-Ethiopia either. Um, administration wise, yeah, we mainly have our control in the main place, but we never could really branch out and control anywhere else. Most of our colonies are pretty badly structured, except for Panama, which I really gotta stop considering a colony, because it's actually really a full-blown state. Okay, colonial powers, or clo wait, colonial map mode, uh, 2.6, I don't know why it's like circling my region, but okay, let me see, colonial range, ah, it's just telling us colonial range, okay, that's good, um, recruitment mode, I can actually recruit a lot of soldiers, especially in Korea, national focuses, speaking of which, I'll look at that in a second, because I'm going to look at it, see if they actually did affect the voting rights anyways naval strength RG output which I think I'm gonna have to zoom in for this one um not really much interesting population density this one's actually interesting so let's see how did Paris do let's see we have 1.67 people in Paris how is that compared to London one point seven. Ah, oh, dang it! That is sad. Okay, how are we doing compared to Berlin? Berlin's not even close. Okay, so so far London and Berlin are the biggest populations. Okay, United States is becoming big. New York's not big, like in the sense of bigness. It's just there. Um, yeah, I think we are De, De Janeiro. Not really. Um, I'm surprised Madagascar actually got a big population boost. Um, China. Let's see how we did compared to Chinese. Well, no, we are nowhere near as much as China's population, but at least we did something. And Spain is now becoming our vassal again. I think the Spanish are probably going to stop trying to get this state. Because they're probably, it's, Spain is probably the equivalent to the Swedish as Romania is to us. We just don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, so population-wise, um, Paris is probably the second biggest European or Western power city. I think we even beat, I think we even beat Tokyo. Yeah, we beat Tokyo, so that is awesome. Okay, what else do we need to look up? Nationalities, this is actually pretty interesting. So let's see, could we convert any of our nationalities to me? Uh, to France. No, that's Swahili. I thought that was French for a second. Uh, Swahili, national interest. Seems like, it seems like most, most nations decide to stay the same. Um... I mean, even in our uh, Wales colonies, they mainly maintain their... In our Belgium, co uh, Belgium like conquest, they mainly maintain their alliances. So here's this map mode. Um, we apparently actually did do one thing, right? Which is we converted this entire state to being French. This entire Panama region is French. That's awesome. Okay. So we have influence. This is probably going to be pretty interesting. So let's see. I have this much of dominance over Europe, which I think is more than most other nations. Yeah, and I have most of big control over Brazil and bread riots. You know, let's just reshuffle the cabinet. I'm not really caring at this point. Mexico could go either way, but it's not really that important. Mexico is not an important state. And principal Swahili land. I don't really care about Swahili. Supply so lane, so particle loyalty. I guarantee no one's gonna support this. But you know what? So let's see. Party loyalty. I almost eliminated all the capitalists over here, but somehow I think because I let other people vote in my colonies, it did not help. And America still we have Wyoming being the most socialist state out of any of them. Um, a lot more, it's a lot more diversity now that we've entered into war and Brazil has some really bad fascist problems. Um, uh, fascism is definitely taking over some of British India. It seems like the Chinese have maintained the absolute monarchy, even to today's times. That's sad. 
I was hoping that maybe they would not be anything different in Germany. Well, they're the Germans. Which, holy shoot, the fascist? No way. No, no, no way. That's gotta be a joke. That's, no, it's not a joke. Holy shoot, the Germans are fascist. I didn't... That wasn't me. <laughs> I'm sorry, people, but that is... Oh, man. Well, apparently, I guess... Wow. <laughs> so... Yeah. Germany... Um... Have become fascist. So we all know what that means. It seems like there's some kind of crazy guy from the Reich has initiated the Third Reich and I'm gonna have to go take him down. So, let's see. No one really wants to join this crisis, so I'm just gonna do it myself. No one's gonna join. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, Germany's fascist! And yes, that doesn't seem like a big deal, but come on. When historical things actually happen, you have to get, just take a moment to laugh at them. Okay, and right now we're taking down all of the rest of the naval stuff. And now we've officially become number one in our militaristic power again, but I think Germany's fascist. And they've taken over most of the nations around them, too. Oh, shoot. Uh, do we have Poland guarded just in case something might happen, you know, just a blitz and creep? Uh, no we don't. This this would be pretty much reminiscent of what would happen if I went to war right now and somebody's trying to somebody trying to fight fight these guys for me. Um no no, they're just they're just rebels. Oh I thought somebody was trying to fight Persia for me. I was like, dang, who would fight Persia for me? Okay. And so it seems like there is no one that wants to uh No, we are definitely genderist. I've s i have severely made that. Okay, so Apparently, no one else wants to free these nations. So, you know, for next episode, people, I'm finally going to add the war goal, and we're finally going to go start going after the Ottomans and starting this war that I hope will end our wars. Okay, see you then, people.